Welcome back to Delhi Math Concepts. Today we'll be solving simultaneous equations and we're just going to be focusing on the substitution method. We're going to see how many questions we could get in, you know. These are the values I have, right? And I don't want to do the elimination method. What if I want to use the substitution method? In the substitution method, what we're about to do is to substitute two times. But the first thing that we're going to do is to try to create a third equation. And in this third equation, I'm going to either use equation 2 or equation 1 to create a third. Normally what I do, I look if I have any single variable first. In this case, I'm seeing a single y here. And because I'm seeing a single y, then I'm going to just let this be the subject, which means I'm going to use equation 1 to create equation 3. Therefore, equation 3 says y is equal to negative 13 minus 4x. So basically, as you could see, I take this and I rewrite it, rewrite it and letting y be the subject. So basically, I would subtract um, 4x from both sides, so we'll end up with this as a third. All right, so now I have this. So I actually use this equation 1 to create that equation 3 which means that they are the same thing, only that I like shuffle the pack a bit or change the subject of the formula. So I'm going to substitute y in the second equation. Using this, because y is equal to negative 13 minus 4x, I'm going to substitute negative 13 minus 4x in equation two, all right? So I could just write it, that I intend to substitute, I want to substitute negative 13 minus 4x for y and I'm going to do it in equation 2. Why am I doing it in equation 2? Because equation 1 and equation 3 are the same thing. Alright, let us write back equation 2 very quickly. 3x minus 2y is equal to negative 7. I'm now going to substitute negative 13 minus 4x for y. So basically 3x minus 2, now I'm going to put y, negative 13 minus 4x, and this is equal to negative 7. Let's carry out this. At this time, what am I going to do now is to distribute the negative 2 that I have here throughout this, all right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to have my 3x here, but in distribution, negative 2 times negative 13 is positive 26, negative 2 times negative 4x is positive 8x and then this is negative 7. We're almost there. I'm going to collect in my like terms. I have my 3 plus 8, 3x plus 8x, that's 11x, all right, plus 26 equal to negative 7. So let me subtract 26 from both sides, all right? So if I do that on this side, well, I'll have 11x and then this is going to give me negative 33, 11x minus 33. So I have 11x and a negative 33. So if I divide by 11, divide by 11, x is equal to negative three. So that's one of my responses, I need to find y. So x is equal to negative three. All right, let us show what we're going to do now. x is equal to negative three. Now because I realize that x is negative three, now, I'm going to substitute, I am going to write that I want to substitute negative 3 for x. And I'm going to do it in the easiest equation, the last one, equation 3. The only reason why I'm choosing that, all right, is because in equation 3, it is already saying y equal. So, I won't have to do any movements too tough. So, what I have now is y is equal to negative 3 minus 4x. This is equation 3. Remember, I'm going to substitute negative 3 for x. y is equal to negative 13 minus 4 times x, and x is negative 3. y is equal to negative 13 plus 12. y is equal to negative 1. So my conclusion is that x is equal to negative 3, and y is equal to negative 1. And if we want, we could quickly check this to see if it works, all right? We could quickly check that, but I'm not going to check it in this video. All right, let's look at the last substitution. We're going to look at the last substitution method. Let's go. In this case, already, um, when I'm going to do my substitution method, it is my first aim to ensure that I write x in terms of y or y in terms of x. But already, 
this question is half done because my second equation is already stating that x is equal to 10 minus y which means I'm going to substitute right away. I'm not going to try to create a third because I have already have um, x by itself. So what, what I'm going to do now is just to say substitute. I want to substitute 10 minus y for x. And I'm going to do this in equation 1 because this idea is coming from equation 2. So I'm going to write my equation 1 now. This is equation 1. So if I have my equation 1, I'm going to substitute 10 minus y wherever I see x. So this is 6 times x, but x is no longer x. x is 10 minus y. Then I put back my positive 2y equal to 32. Now I'm going to distribute again. So I'm seeing the 6 will be distributed to the 10 and to the negative y. All right, let's see what goes on. 6 times 10, that's 60. 6 times negative y is negative 6y. There's a positive 2y and there's a 32. All right, let's see what we could get out of this. The like terms are here. Um, I'm not going to trouble this. So I'm going to say 60 with a minus 4y equal to 32. All right, I could just put back this right here. So what I'm going to do now is that, let me write this, 60 uh, minus 4y equal to 32. I'm going to minus 60 from both sides. If I minus 60 from both sides, I'm having minus 4y I'm going to write my 60 right here. All right. Minus 4y is equal to, and we're looking at a negative 28. I'm looking at a negative 28 there. Then now I'm going to divide by negative 4, by negative 4. Therefore, y is equal to a positive 7. So here is my first response. I'm getting y to equal to positive 7. All right. Let's now do the last thing, which is we're going to substitute what we have. So I'm going to write another statement that I want to substitute. It's my intention to substitute 7 for y. 7 for y. All right, and I'm going to do that in equation 3. Equation 3, I'd said x is equal to 10 minus y. All right, so this is equation 3. 10 minus y. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put 7 where y is. So x is equal to 10 minus 7. x is equal to 3. My conclusion, x is equal to 3. y is equal to 7. We could double check those quickly to see if they're okay. All right, I, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that you have learned something. Thank you.